welcome back to my channel so i am just trying to be quiet because my little boys are sleeping in the next room but i said in my previous one of my previous videos that i would show you an updated more ergonometer so i brought you up here to my room and i'm just going to show you what i've got here so you have to excuse my <laughs> pj reflection here so this is my space So yeah, um, I can just talk to you a little bit about it. So if we start over here, um, these candles are actually a gift from a friend. I don't know why they keep turning round. Um, yeah, these were actually a gift from a friend. As you can see, I've never burnt them. <laughs> They're just too beautiful to burn, if I'm honest. Um, these candlestick holders were a wedding present. Um, and we've just, I've just used them on here. Um, this is a little offering dish here. Um, I think I had this on here before, but um, I'm not sure. So I've just got a selection of crystals um, and feathers and just little items really that I've put forward for offerings. Um, I've also got like some of my bigger pieces of quartz here, which I may use in, in certain rituals and things like that. Um, yeah. And then down here I've got um, just a big energy crystal. This was actually just a rock which I cracked myself um, and you can't really see the beautiful crystals in it that much because it's quite dull over here because of the lights that are all behind me. Um, and then I just got this which it just sits on there like so. It's still really crumbly because it's um, obviously so raw so it is quite delicate you do have to be quite careful with it but yeah I just have it sat on here and I, I love this this just adds to the, the decor I suppose of it more than anything um, it's not I don't use it as, I suppose the um, it does symbolise obviously the earth, air, fire, water but um, it's more just hold this on so it doesn't go everywhere um, but this crystal I feel like just adds energy to this area um, I've got the symbolism of the crows here I've got this one which is on the skull and then I've got this one here I'm sorry my camera's all over and he's just on a branch and I just have them sort of looking out from this space um, in the back here I've got um, underneath I, I think I showed you this I definitely know I definitely showed you this before this is the three fairies um, I feel that they very much represent the three aspects which I relate to of the Morrigan um, and also the mother, the maiden and the crone. Um, and then this gorgeous doll here, uh, and if you can see that, is a mother and baby. Um, and this was actually gifted to, to me um, by a friend of mine. Um, and she bought it, I think it's, they're called spirit dolls and it's been blessed with white sage as a protective energy. And I keep that on here. Um, because I feel like very much in my life I'm at the mother stage right now where I'm looking after my son, I've become a mother and this represents not only that stage for me but also this is me and my son um, and I have it on here and I've asked that the Morrigan watch over and protect us and that's kind of what I use that for and then just coming over here um, I've got this which I got for Christmas a few years ago um, it's an incense burner, so you put the incense in that little hole there, um, and yeah, that's a little plate for it, and that's obviously just a lighter, which I always have to hand. Um, I have these still, which I showed you on my previous. These were literally 20p from the clearance at Asda, um, once uh, Halloween was over several years ago. Um, and I have got one of the Bleeding Heart candles in there, which is almost gone, and I've just kept it for ages, that one's actually empty. Um, this is part of what used to be a table. I removed the top plate because I felt like it was just in the way all the time. And I actually just really like the tree stump. So under here there is a little screw where that goes back on. But actually I just really like it as it is. Um, I've got some oil here that um, a friend of mine purchased for me um, offline. You can see that. It smells lovely. Um, I've also got this one which is really old now but it smells amazing um, and this is from Uric, Uric Benz I always can't pronounce this and I can't even show you it properly because it's 
not going to focus but it all it's really faded because I've had it so long and this is opium this is a uh, perfume oil yeah and it's divine opium if you can see yeah but I've had that for a really long time now and there's literally like a dribble in the bottom so I really saved that for really special occasions um, I've still got my candles that look like rocks um, I just love these and this is also just a rock that I collected one time and I just felt I needed it it was something that was there when I asked for a sign and I felt drawn to it so I've kept it um, up here I've just got this little bracelet that I sometimes wear during ritual or sometimes I just wear it anyway um, it's got lots of different pagan type charms on it and then obviously here is just my little cauldron I've got some white sage in there uh, sorry that's just normal sage actually it's not white sage um, and I just usually leave that on there like so um, at the back here you can see I've got these two candles these are candles that I've created this was the candle that I created for my connection uh, with Bav, Bave, however you wish to pronounce it um, and this candle here um, was another one that I created and I definitely feel like that's maybe more of a connection with Maka but either way they're just two dedication candles that I've created that I burn in the background there um, when I'm doing my spiritual work um, and that's most of it actually um, just at the front here one last piece I've got is this beautiful selenite um, candle holder um, again I just burn this or have a candle going in here when I'm doing spiritual works or if I'm just lighting a candle in dedication to, to the Morrigan I will just light this here and um, this was a gift again from a, a lovely friend of mine um, and yeah that's this is the space I have got some artwork which I want to put back up here and um, I also do have this which is one of the cards from my um, I can't remember what the deck's called now uh, I think I showed it in previous videos um, and yeah that's that's one of the cards and I felt like that related to this area um, and I did have my Morrigan um, by, uh, painting by Laura Dalligan up here but I felt like it was getting a bit ruined so I wanted to take I took it down um, and I was going to put it in a frame and have it somewhere on here but I need to sort that out still um, and then I just have this clock which is no relevance to the altar as such but I feel like it all ties in um, because it's got that dark element and that, those aspects to it so yeah this is the area um, I hope you like the video um, I have got another space downstairs which I've mentioned in my other video uh, my cabinet with my god and my goddess aspects either side so if you want to see that let me know let it be